fellow Toastmasters, guests, and especially Robert, it's a, a distinct privilege to evaluate someone's icebreaker speech. And we should keep in mind the purpose of an icebreaker. It allows the Toastmaster to introduce himself to the club and to discover the speaking skills that he or she already has and determine areas where he or she can begin to improve his speaking abilities as he progresses through the competent communication manual. Robert met those goals and I think that, that he gave us an example that we can all learn from because he clearly studied his competent communicator manual and put deep thought into how he was going to introduce himself in order to accomplish that. I saw especially good skills that he already has in several areas. He put a speech together so we did get to know him. And we got to know him both professionally, he told us a little bit about his resume, but also sort of intellectually. Not so much personally, but enough of the personal that, that we have a sense for who he is. He used good humor in that, and the tidbits of information about himself that he gave us were very titillating, and they left me wanting more. Furthermore, something that he did very well was explain those areas that he was talking about where his audience might not be fully familiar with that particular thing, whether it's lifting or his military background. He, he put some thought into how to explain those to us. He spoke with a good voice, and you know, he was looking out at the audience, and he made some reasonable uh, eye contact there. He clearly had an organized speech. I even heard him mention part of his organization as he was looking at his notes. <laughs> but in his opening, he used humor. He riffed off of what Art had said and told us he would be using his notes after all. <laughs> <laughs> that through his body, there were transitions, and his body had sufficient information for us. His conclusion connected this speech with his future speech and his goals, and I especially like that. that. That was incredibly good. With the notes, it was okay, Robert, that you used your notes, but you've got to be more circumspect with them. And part of that was you, you sort of latched onto the, onto the podium and tore off your notes. And so as you reduce the use of notes and as you rehearse more and as you relax a little more, you know, step back, move around, relax a little bit, that helps you to relax. Then you'll be able to, to use notes where it's appropriate and not have them be a distraction for your audience. But you'll also be able to get away from the notes because I believe you could have delivered that speech without notes. Again, it was an excellent icebreaker speech. I want to hear more. And we do welcome you to talk about your philosophy, so please do. Thank you. <laughs>